What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are well. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, so, I'm starting off today's vlog. I've just finished work. I uh, got home, got changed. Um, do you remember last time I spoke to you in the vlog about the issues that I was having with the car? Well, I've come today to, um, to Infinity. And this is the Infinity Service Center in Mosaffa, in Abu Dhabi. Now, if you buy a car, the likelihood is that you have to, uh, you have to at some point bring it out here. Mosaffa is a bit like Mad Max. Like it's just it's crazy. There's a lot of uh, garages. Uh, it just looks very industrial. Um, you know, you've got kind of like spare bits on the road. You know, it just diggers everywhere. It's just it, yeah, it's it's a little crazy. Uh, a scene out of Mad Max but anyway I'm here now because I'm going to try and get the car looked into and also I just want to have a look at some of the newer model cars that they've got available so yeah let's do this here it is Infinity and Nissan service center and they've got Renault here as well let's go through them. okay so they've taken the car in just to have a look they're gonna see what's going on but I'm gonna have a little look around here check these bad boys out these are the Q70s at the front Q50s at the back and then you've got obviously the bigger SUVs further down um, this is the Q50 which I really really like the look of this is I think the sports model sports trim oh this is just stunning look at that gun metal very very nice this is actually the newer model of the one that I have the uh, the FX35 is the one that I have. My end is a 2009 model. This is obviously 2015, the updated model. Um, and then we have the QX80 and QX60, which is a little smaller than the QX80. And then the, check the sports trim out on this. Very, very nice. Check, check those alloys out. Beautiful. I really like the color of this. This is like this gunmetal with the sports trim, the QX50. Big fan of the front. Looks mean, doesn't it? Um, not a big fan of the back though, to be honest. Love the alloys. Uh, that's the back. <laughs> Seems like they designed, put all the effort in the design of the front, but they kind of forgot the back a little. The inside's very, very nice. Um, my dilemma at the moment is, is that I'm kind of, I'm a bit bored of driving around an SUV <coughs> and when you look at it from the outside the FX looks like it has actually more space inside but it doesn't feel that way um, and you know a couple of times I've taken the sedans out for a test drive you know with the car reviews that I do I always feel like there's more space in a sedan than there is in an SUV-ish that type you know I mean obviously the big 4x4s are different there's a hell of a lot more space in there but um, yeah, I kind of, I don't know, I'm in the mood of getting a, you know, a, a sedan. And this is really, really nice. Check the center console out. Very, very nice. Leather throughout. Quite spacious at the back as well. Could have Zane's car seat in there. Maybe even baby number two's car seat. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's nice and, nice and spacious. Brochure in hand. Interesting major difference between the two of these is actually just external sports obviously has sports trim and the premium doesn't have the sports trim but it's not bad actually I, I do like the I do like the sports trim on this particularly the alloys mm, it's not bad price I think this was 165 I mean, these are older models now because we're coming up to the end of 2015 this is 165 and 155 that's 155,000 dirhams 165,000 dirhams and some of you are going to be like hey I'm Quan what's that in pounds let me work that out for you people let's see um, 155 yeah it's about 30,000 pounds and then 165 is about 30,000 so 29,000 and 25,000 uh, it's not bad and here in the UAE they give like um, 
a year's free insurance is standard. You get two years warranty, uh, no, two years service package, and then you get um, five years unlimited mileage warranty, which isn't bad, really. What do you think? All sorted, kinda, possibly, maybe. Basically, I suppose this is like, this is useful for you guys, those of you that are, think, that are here and thinking about buying a used car. If you buy a used car, it's probably better to make sure it's got warranty and stuff like that. This is out of warranty, so any uh, issues with this car, I have to pay for it. It could be you know, black hole, essentially. They said that they, what's happening is that when I'm driving, it kind of, there are some errors that come on and then it kind of stalls. And it's been happening almost every day. And um, luckily the stalling doesn't, it kind of happens when I'm in slow moving traffic, so it's not an issue. It's never happened when I'm, uh, you know, driving fast. So thankfully that's not an issue. They said they have reset one or two parts now. Uh, they made some slight mechanical adjustments so they want me to just observe it and try it out and if it's a problem come back on Saturday and they'll try one more thing after that it might mean quite a hefty bill so let's hope fingers crossed touch wood inshallah all that good stuff that it's not a big issue um, and yeah let's see how it goes now otherwise <laughs> that new car might be a uh, Sooner than anticipated. All right, let's go. Okay, Aaron's done. I'm uh, out with Miss Bila. Look. Miss Bila. <laughs> and baby Kwan. And uh, we're gonna go into Yasmo. I've been invited as a guest uh, with Apple. So, yeah, let's show you what they're about to show me. So, this is it. This is the new Apple store here in Abu Dhabi at the Yasmo. We're part of media, so we managed to get, uh, where is it? There we go. We're part of media, so we managed to get a uh, quick access uh, pre-launch. They're going to be opening this to the public on Thursday. And you can check it out. Nothing's really changed. It looks very similar to most of the other Apple stores that you'll find worldwide. This is a big deal for us because this is the first time they're opening uh, a, a legitimate, an actual Apple store in the Middle East. So. For us, it's a big deal. It means that we don't have to fly over to get our Apple products or the grey market. We can get it all from the guys here at Apple. And they've also got a genius bar or support bar, which will be taking place over there, which means that we can, um, you know, again, we get that support with the Apple products that we purchase here in this country and in this region. So it's really awesome. They've got the Apple Watch uh, posters up there. They've got what looks like the iPad Pro over here because of the dual speakers. And uh, yeah, you've got like all your Macs around here, uh, the MacBooks over here, and tons and tons of accessories as well, which is really, really good. Very, very nice to see. That's it. So if you're, oh, and they're opening another one in uh, the Mall of the Emirates in Dubai, so do go check that out as well, if you're in Dubai. Okay, so that's done. I'm on my way to go and see Miss Bila and Baby Khan. I think there are Hamleys over there. But check this out, we got given uh, members of press got given we, the weird thing was I wanted to keep that media badge thing and they said no you can't so they gave us uh, this instead hello Abu Dhabi let's just see what's inside I haven't even seen it oh very nice some postcards yeah they look like uh, some postcards that they've included that's really nice actually this is uh, basically it's in Arabic it says marhaba it means welcome so it seems like they've, um, they are, yeah. I don't know if these are going to be worth anything in the future, but hey, I'll, I'll give them to Apple fans here in the UAE, which should be nice. Right, let's get to Hamleys. Look, there's my baby. Hello, many journeys. <laughs> he just likes the spot so that he can look out over there. Yeah, yeah. Hello, many journeys. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, so in Yasmol there is a Virgin Megastore and I think this has to be probably the largest selection of G-Shocks anywhere in the UAE. Check these out man, there's so many different ones to choose from. Look It seems to like that one. Nice colours aren't there? Wow, I really like that one. Really nice. I think one G-Shock is enough personally. Um, I use mine for the swimming, but some of these, these are nice with NATO straps. I don't know if you can see them. That one's not bad actually, the NATO strap. Ms. Mm. you like any? Yeah, that's a bit big for my own. That's how they're meant to be, I think. And check these ones out, the top classics. Beautiful, I like that red. It's a nice color red on that one. 